Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. Learning a profession or pastime can be an effective way of making new friends and becoming accepted. But some paths to integration are more unusual than others. In Ecuador, ballet is not only a creative way to boost self-esteem, but can also lead to a job. Every day, David makes the journey from his home in the slums to his local dance school. He is swimming against the tide in a society where male ballet dancers are not easily accepted. Let's find out in this report how dance rescued him and other young Ecuadorians from violence and exclusion. Four times a week, David goes to ballet class after school. The journey takes two hours, but he's determined to become a professional ballet dancer when he grows up. My parents say it's better than hanging around on the street, so I'll study for another five years. David is one of 25 slum children admitted to the school because of their outstanding potential. And just like Billy Elliot, they face cultural prejudice about male dancers. Unfortunately, there is prejudice in Ecuador, but the truth is that traditionally dancers were all men. They even dressed as women to represent a couple. Because of the cultural belief that dancing is effeminate, many ballets cannot be produced in Ecuador because there are not enough male dancers available. We immerse them in the arts and they learn about performing arts, which is an unknown universe to them. They've never had access to it. Most of them have never been to a theatre in their lives. The academy recruits students from the very poorest areas of the city. As well as reinforcing their self-esteem, we reinforce their personalities because their work here makes them feel good, makes them feel that they can succeed at something. In the Turkish city of Eyüp, Bilgi University offers an environment of inspiration for students and the wider community, including migrants. It helps them communicate, know each other better, and integrate more fully into society. The university campus here is open to all the local residents, making it an open space for arts and culture. This is a very inward-looking area without many links to the outside world. But when you create a relationship with local young people, you build relationships with their families too. Dilara is 17 and has been coming to workshops here for 18 months. Guitar classes are very popular. People here learn without stress. It's a fair and pleasant way to learn. That's what I love most here. These workshops aren't meant to produce perfect musicians or professional actors. It's a way for young people to meet and talk. We're mainly interested in how these youngsters express themselves in the workshops and whether this leads to further learning needs. If someone wants to go further to accomplish a dream, then it's a success. For some, it's a second chance. Local people stand a real chance of change and they can open up if they come here. The 
community here is mixed but separated. Young people come to the university campus to get to know and to respect others from the Balkan or Kurdish communities, for example. In Spain, women who suffered domestic violence now have the opportunity to overcome the trauma they endured and learn a new way of earning their living. It's all thanks to the Proyecto Vivir Center. There, they learn skills while their children attend the nursery. This report from Valencia. In the last 10 years, more than 600 women have died as a result of domestic violence in Spain. It's a huge problem, and many organizations are working to stop domestic violence. Here in Valencia, this center provides training to more than 100 victims of domestic violence. I started to paint here. At the beginning, I didn't know anything, and it was very difficult. But step by step, they've taught me how to paint. We realized that when we paid their rent or their water or electricity bills, the poverty continued. We weren't giving these women dignity. We wanted to help these women and their families, but in exchange for some sort of learning. These classes help women to rebuild their lives. Suddenly I found myself separated from my husband and living in a refuge flat. And then they arranged for me to come here to do some work and stop thinking about my problems and my children's problems so much. For these women, learning pottery or painting are the first steps towards feeling worthy and able enough to build a new life. That's the end of this edition of Learning World. We will be back next week with more insights from the world of education. And remember, you can watch all of our episodes online at euronews.net forward slash learning world. Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.